Hey friends, it's Kelly. I am back with a Cricut how-to for the cut shop. I have received numerous requests asking me to record a video tutorial on how to upload a cut shop cut file into Cricut Design Space. So that is what I'm going to show you today. Now I want to start out by saying that this is strictly a Cricut how-to video. There is not a scrapbook process video included within this video tutorial. I wanted to make sure that this video was found easily and it was easily accessible on my channel. So I wanted to make sure that I made this separate from a scrapbook process video. I also want to answer a frequently asked question, which is which Cricut models can be used with the cut files? And the answer to that is any Cricut Explore model can use the cut files. So whether it's the Explore, the Explore 1, the Explore Air, or the Explore Air 2, all of those models can be used with the cut files. They all operate off, off of Cricut Design Space, which is the software that you need to upload the cut files. The older Cricut models, such as the Expression, the Expression 2, or the original Cricut, the mini personal cutter, the online software for those models is Cricut Craft Room, and Cricut Craft Room does not have the ability to upload cut files. So if you are using any of the older Cricut models, you will not have access or be able to use the cut files with those Cricut machines. I also want you to keep in mind, depending on when you are watching this video, that this is for the current design space which is design space 2.0 there is currently a 3.0 in beta testing and it has not been released to the public yet so i am not sure when that new 3.0 version is released if it will change the process on how a cut file is uploaded into cricut design space so please keep that in mind when you are watching this video if it's a year from now two years from now there could be a slightly different process on how to upload the cut files into design space Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. When you have purchased the cut files from the Etsy shop, you will get an email letting you know when the cut files are ready for download. There will be a button in the email that you can click on that will say view files on Etsy. When you click on that button, you will then come to this screen and it will show you all of the images that you have purchased. Now, a lot of the images come in two formats. They come in DXF and PNG format. Now, both of these types of files are Cricut Design Space compatible. So you can upload either the DXF or the PNG format into Cricut Design Space. But I have found that the PNG format translates much nicer into Cricut Design Space than the DXF format. Sometimes with the DXF format, you have to do a little cleanup, which just means you have to edit some areas to make the cut lines precise. So it's just much easier to download the PNG. There's no cleanup process. It just goes straight into Cricut Design Space and it's ready to cut. So that is what I am recommending that you use when you are uploading the cut files into Cricut Design Space. Now these are already cut files that I had purchased previously and already have them uploaded into Cricut Design Space. So I am just showing you these files as a sample. So what you'll do is you will click on the download for the PNG version and you're gonna see a little window kind of pop up in the bottom left hand corner. That's gonna let you know that the cut files are downloading onto your computer. Once you have downloaded all of the PNG versions of the cut files that you have purchased, you will then go into Cricut Design Space. Once you are logged in and you are on the design screen, there is going to be an upload image button on the left-hand side. That is what you will want to click on to upload the cut files into Design Space. Now, once you get to this screen, you're gonna have two options. You're gonna have upload image or upload pattern. For the cut files, you're going to want to upload image. I have done a scrapbook process video showing what the pattern fill option is. So if you are interested in what the pattern fill does or how you use it, I will make sure to link to that process video in the description below. Once you click on the upload image button, you will come to another screen that says browse. You wanna click on the browse button. That is gonna allow you to search for your cut files. My cut files automatically go into my downloads folder. I am a Microsoft user, so that's where I go to find the cut file images after I have downloaded them from the Etsy store. Once you have selected the cut file that you're wanting to upload into Cricut Design Space, this is the next screen that will come up. You have three options to finish uploading the cut file into Design Space, which is simple image, moderately complex, or complex image. Because the cut files are black images on a transparent background, you can select the simple image. So you're just gonna go over, click on simple image, and then click on continue on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. 
Now the next screen that is going to come up is going to be the preview screen and this is going to show you exactly how the cut file is going to upload into Cricut Design Space. Now as I mentioned the PNG format uploads beautifully into Design Space and there is no cleanup needed but if you were ever needing to do cleanup on a cut file this is the screen that you would do it on. There are three tools in the top left hand corner that you can use to do any editing to the cut files that may be needed to get the cut lines crisp and clean and exactly where they should be. So you're going to go ahead and click on the continue button in the lower right hand corner and then this is the final screen that you'll come to when uploading a cut file into Cricut Design Space. You're going to have two options to save the cut file. You can either save it as a print then cut or save as a cut image. For the cut files you want to save as a cut image so you're going to click on that icon. This is also the screen where you could rename the cut file image or add any tags to the cut file image which are just descriptions that you could give the cut file. So that way when you're searching in Cricut Design Space you can type in whatever you would have named it or any descriptions that you would have given it and it will pop up when you enter those words into the search engine. So to finish saving this cut file you're just going to click on the save button in the lower right hand corner and then this will save the cut file image in your images library which is going to pop up in just a moment. Once the image is in your images library, you'll just select whatever cut file you're wanting to bring onto the design screen and then click on insert image in the bottom right hand corner and that will bring it up onto the design screen and you are ready to start creating. So uploading the images into Cricut Design Space is a very quick and easy process. This video is slowed down slightly. I cannot talk as quickly as I can click on different images on the screen. So I did have to slow the video down to record the voiceover to be sure that I was thorough and that it was easy to follow along. But please let me know if you have any questions about this process or any questions about the cut files. I am more than happy to answer them. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope that you found this video informative and useful, and I will be back again very soon.